Welcome parents, staff, and guests. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate Church Hill's 2021 graduates. It seems another year has zoomed by on behalf of the entire staff. <laughs> On behalf of the entire staff, I'd like to thank you for educating, the privilege of educating your wonderfully unique children. I would especially like to thank Michael Troll, the pastor here at Ray Thorington Baptist Church, for allowing us to use this beautiful facility. Good evening, seniors, and welcome to your graduation. You have the privilege of experiencing your senior year on Zoom. You have Zoomed here, you have Zoomed there, you have Zoomed everywhere. This class is extremely resilient. They have made the best out of a difficult situation and came out shining despite COVID. They did not let COVID define them but instead, they held their heads up high and marched triumphantly through the year. You have choices to make. Now you must embark on life's road and decide which way to go. You will find under your seat tonight a gift from Kappa. It is a book entitled, What the Road Says. It's okay to be afraid or to sometimes wander down the wrong path. What the road said encourages us to lead with kindness and curiosity, remembering that the most important thing we can do in life is to keep going. Every person you meet on life's road knows something that you don't. Learn from them. When you doubt yourself, remember that you can do it because you've already come this far. Don't worry if you feel like you're going the wrong way. Even if you're on the right road, you will get run over if you just sit there. So get moving. Sometimes we go the wrong way on our way to the right way. Go where the road leads you and be a leader. The only impossible journey is the one you never begin. Each of you traveled a different road to this point in your life. Churchill may not be where you originally started, but where you came and chose Churchill Academy as your destination. I hope you know how much the staff has appreciated and enjoyed your presence. You have spent this time in your life at Churchill Academy for a reason. Your time with us was purposeful, this is your time to now continue down the road to your future. Please know that all of us at Churchill Academy, your teachers, Mrs. Lockwood, and I are with you as you go. We support you and believe in you. Remember to never, never, never give up. Graduation is not the end. It's just the beginning of your road. Okay, Mrs. Lockwood and the high school teachers are going to share some information with you about your students. I think you're going to enjoy this. The students have no idea what they're going to say. So, sit back and enjoy. Welcome. I'm just so thrilled to see everyone here. You know, I have emailed and texted and talked to you all over the last few weeks, and it's just such a treat to get to see the parents and family and friends of all of our graduates. Each senior is wearing a special cord, and each faculty member is also wearing a special cord. This is what we call our COVID survivor cord. Um, 
we, these were given out at our um, lunch, you know, not our lunch, but our dinner, our uh, senior banquet, and they represent the resilience of Churchill's students and faculty during COVID-19. This cord will only be given this year, and then it's going to be retired. If there's another pandemic, they've got to pick another cord. <laughs> this, this is ours. The first person I would like to speak about tonight is Caleb Riley Wilkinson. He came to Churchill Academy in the fifth grade. Caleb came from New Life Christian Academy. Caleb is wearing the Violet Honor Corps tonight for possessing excellence in service, leadership skills, and thinking skills. This color represents spirituality and calmness. The gold honor cord that he is wearing represents his selection as valedictorian. Caleb is well known for his ability to incorporate his leadership roles to provide service to others. He spearheaded a drive to provide Baptist health care workers with baskets of goodies and notes from the high school students to thank them for their tireless work during the pandemic. He was Student Government Association President this past school year and Secretary during, the, during his junior year. He used these roles to start the school store, collection of food for our community, and to implement a recycling program for Churchill. Caleb's teachers agree that he is a dedicated student, enjoys mentoring younger students, and is a role model for the Churchill student body. In addition to his commitment to academics, he was on the track team, has been a regular talent show participant, and is willing to help his peers. When asked what he would like others to know about him, he said, I love God, my grandmothers are awesome, more than anything, I want to learn how to, self -love, to serve lovingly and selfishly. Caleb takes his schoolwork seriously, but he is very active in other areas as well. Caleb has worked at Chappies this past year. His job counted toward his work study credit. The, evalu the evaluation by his supervisor was excellent. Caleb also enjoys spending time with his family. We see his baby sister on Zoom often. She has spent many quality hours reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with our literature <laughs> class. <laughs> Caleb is active in his church, and he shares his faith in action and deed. After graduation, Caleb plans to attend Wallace State Community College to further his education. His aspiration is to go overseas for ministry in the form of humanitarian engineering. He was awarded the Wallace State Valedictorian Scholarship, which will pay tuition. Congratulations, Caleb. This is a true honor and blessing. We will certainly miss Caleb, but the faculty and staff knows that he has a bright future ahead of him. Thank you. If you don't mind standing up, please, so everybody can see who you are. Excuse me. John Thomas Appling, known to all of us as JT, joined the Churchill family in 2014 as he entered the sixth grade. Halcyon and Delreda Elementary's loss was Churchill's gain. JT wears the tan honor cord signifying a pure and humble nature. Tan wearers encourage others and are very trustworthy and loyal. When asked about a special moment at school, he related how good he felt after completing his first research paper in Ms. Hall's English class. He added that her English classes were the hardest classes he took at Churchill. His most fun class was anatomy with Mrs. Backus because she explained things so well and made everything interesting. Mr. Zener stood out to him as a teacher because he pushed everyone the hardest in his classwork, homework, and projects. He brought the hardworking JT out. The timeline still needs to be worked out, but JT's dream is to eventually enjoy a career in marine biology. He says he knows quite a bit about the subject already, but wants to learn a lot more. His initial plans following graduation is to learn, I'm sorry, following graduations are to find a good paying job and move into a place of his own, which I know your mother will really appreciate. <laughs> 
He then plans on attending Trenum State Community College to complete his basic college classes before transferring to Auburn University at Montgomery to complete his degree. JT, know that the entire staff and remaining student body will greatly miss having you around Churchill. Especially your easygoing and friendly manner, your smile, your hardworking attitude, and tremendous desire to learn. Thank you. The faculty and staff of Churchill Academy would like to present Sarah Elaine Gill Backus. It's a mouthful. Sarah had an unusual history at Churchill Academy. She first, she first attended Churchill in seventh grade in classroom G. Many of her classmates then are in this graduating class tonight. She attended the magnet program from eighth to eleventh grade and she transferred, transferred to Churchill from Lance for her senior year. Sarah tonight is wearing the white cord. This cord symbolizes a new beginning, a fresh start, nurturing, caring, honest perfection. We truly feel that she exemplifies all of these qualities. Sarah has overcome many challenges during her short lifetime. She was born with Wilson's disease, which affects the liver. Unfortunately, on January 31st, 2020, Sarah was admitted to the Children's Hospital for liver failure. She ended up with kidney failure as a result. Her life was so fragile, and a transplant was her only option. Sarah was, on top of the national, was at the top of the national transplant list and with only hours left to live, she was blessed with a new liver. This was the start of her new beginning in her journey. Because of the trauma, her kidney shut down, and she was on dialysis for, dialysis for weeks following the surgery. The doctors feared she would need a new kidney as well. However, miraculously, with much prayer from friends and family, her kidneys recovered, and she did not need a new kidney. While spending time in the ICU and special care unit, Sarah was inspired to become a nurse, a nurse practitioner at Children's Hospital and work with children. She's already taken the first step and has been admitted to the University of Alabama in Birmingham, where she will be pursuing a nursing degree. But the faculty and staff and student body want Sarah and her mother, one of our Churchill teachers, to know is that we are thrilled that Sarah chose to return to Churchill for her senior year. We know that she's still healing and dealing with the after effects of a transplant. Since January of 2020, we prayed for her. We followed her journey. She was a part of Churchill even before she enrolled here. Churchill is more than a wonderful school. It is a place for small families to unite, it is a place to unite, to unite into larger families. We are so happy that Sarah is a part of this senior class family. Sarah has many talents and interests. Among these are singing, playing the piano, art, crocheting and knitting, writing, making videos, and swimming. Sarah enjoyed her literature class with Mrs. Lockwood this year, and she even read a short story that she wrote to her classmates. All the faculty and staff at Churchill Academy would like to wish Sarah the best. She's going to do amazing things, or we in awe, and we are in awe of the miracle that she is right now. It is an honor tonight to present to you Harvey Keante Bannerman as a graduating senior at Churchill Academy. Harvey came to Churchill in 2014 from Millbrook Middle School. Harvey said it was a good change and that Churchill teachers helped him adjust to the change. Churchill also taught him that he can do anything he sets his mind to. Tonight, Harvey is wearing the lime green honor cord. This cord represents these traits that personify Harvey, thoughtful, quiet, 
sincere and refreshing. Harvey is a quiet man of few words, but when he does speak, his words are always sincere. He is thoughtful and willing to help when asked. He is quiet and he never wants to be the center of attention. His broad smile and gentle ways are truly refreshing. Harvey stated that Coach McCluskey was his favorite teacher because he always challenged him and he was always funny. Mrs. Backus's current events class was the most fun class for Harvey, and Mrs. Hall's English class was the hardest class. <laughs> of all the field trips, Harvey enjoyed going to Tan Tanny Hill the most. Tanny Hill is an iron and steel museum. Harvey said his favorite fun Friday event was the annual tailgate bash, where we had hot dogs and games that centered around the Auburn Alabama game. Harvey never played on any teams, but he really enjoys football and basketball with friends. In addition, Harvey was a member of our track team last year. Harvey really enjoyed his family's trip to SeaWorld in Orlando and is looking forward to a family trip to Disney World following his graduation. In the last few years, he and his brother Jamel have really bonded and spend time together. They are as different as night and day but they get along well. Harvey also enjoys attending church regularly with his family. When asked to describe himself, Harvey replied, he's a positive person who is quiet and shy, but likes meeting new people. We teachers call him our gentle giant because he is this quiet and unassuming young man with a huge, amazing smile. He also describes himself as helpful, curious, and polite, and we all agree. After graduation, Harvey plans to take a year off to work and earn his own money before deciding on his next adventure. He has plans to take a counseling job at the Good Times program at the YMCA this summer. In addition, Harvey dreams of creating his own YouTube channel for designing video games. Wherever life takes him, we wish Harvey the best life has to offer. We want him to succeed in all of his endeavors. Churchill Academy hopes he will stay in touch and share his future successes with us. Congratulations. <laughs> Catherine Lynn Bennett. Little Katie joined Churchill Academy in 2013. She was in classroom C, and Mrs. Connells was her teacher. She had previously attended Holy Cross Episcopal Church. Tonight, Katie is wearing the green color cord. Green represents the universal color of nature, which is one of Katie's special places to be. This signifies both growth and health. The wearer portrays youthfulness, freshness, and imagination. Katie credits Coach McCluskey with encouraging her. He always expected the best from her. His physical science class was her absolute favorite class. Katie is known at Churchill for both her computer skills as well as her organizational skills. She's our go-to person. Coach McCluskey says Katie was his co-teacher in his computer class. <laughs> and she was also seen as my dance assistant in my dance class. Also, during every talent show for all four years, Katie was right there beside me. She did the music, she did the props, on and off stage, and she even performed. Couldn't have done it without her. Katie was highlighted in a local magazine for her participation in Churchill's work study program. She now works at Bass Pro Shop and has been recognized as a star employee. Katie is known for her knowledge of all things Disney and for her care for the feelings of others. Katie is a young woman with many talents and many dreams. We've been so fortunate to have her as a Churchill Academy student. Whether she enjoys a sporting event, participating in outdoor activities, working at Bass Pro Shop, or just hanging out with friends. Katie is always the same. Congratulations on being a 2021 graduate. We are so very proud of you.
I know the glasses have to come back on because I can't see. <laughs> it is an honor to recognize Jack Martin Drzezinski. He's a graduating senior from Church Hill Academy. Jack and his family moved to Montgomery from Florida in 2017. He came in as a freshman and worked hard to adjust to a new school with new rules, new teachers, and new classmates. Jack stated that his former school was much larger than Churchill and it had a variety of clubs, but the Reptile Club was his favorite. Jack is wearing the light blue honor cord tonight. This cord represents open spaces, freedom, intuition, imagination, intelligence, sensitivity, and deep thinking. Jack is comfortable with who he is. He is sensitive to others. His imagination is evident in his game choices that foster imagination and his unique interest in saving bees. It takes imagination to come to school wearing a horse's head just for the fun of it. He wanted a reaction and he got it. Everybody loved it. As a ninth grader at Churchill, the ballroom dance class was his required physical education credit. He may not have loved the dance class, but it was a great way to meet and relate to new classmates. He truly was a good dancer and performed well with the dance class at numerous local nursing homes. Jack is a, a compliant young man who does what teachers expect of him. Among other activities at Churchill, Jack participated in the chess club and competed in one of the chess tournaments. In addition, he is also a scout in Troop 111 in Prattville and presently working on his Eagle Scout project. Regarding academic classes, Jack said his hardest class was geometry. The classes that were the most fun for him were history with Mrs. Kiernan and algebra A and B with Coach McCluskey. The teacher that stands out the most for Jack is Mr. Zenert. He said Mr. Zenert pushed him to do his best and was always there with further information to help him understand concepts. Jack's favorite field trip at Churchill was going to the McFrank Wayne Center in Birmingham. Jack has many interests and hobbies. He is very interested in beekeeping and even attended a week-long beekeeping camp in Elmore County. He also presented a fascinating English research paper and PowerPoint presentation on beekeeping as a possible career. Other hobbies include swimming, chess, Legos, drawing, baseball, and soccer, and he's used to really enjoying golf. Jack's father is in the military, and they have traveled all over Europe. Jack enjoyed Germany the most because of the food and the attractions. Upon graduation, Jack plans to go to college and pursue his interest in computers and the space program. Jack dreams of someday having a company to save the bees and creating extreme advancement in technology. We can't wait to see Jack's future achievements. We at Churchill wish him the best life has to offer as he begins his new adventure and wish him the best. Okay. Zachary Darnell Faulkner, known as Zach joined Churchill Academy in 2017 as a student in Classroom G. Zach previously attended Lighthouse Christian Academy. He met many of his current friends there and has made many good friends at Churchill Academy. The friendship trait he looks for is personality. The faculty and staff chose the color red as for his honor cord. The color represents power and courage, a person of strength and fortitude. He has a zest for life and enthusiasm that is motivating to others. When asked which teacher stands out, he replied, all the teachers who taught me because I'm surprised they didn't give up. We never give up, Zach. His hardest classes were any that were taught by Mr. Z. The, cl <laughs> <laughs> the classes he most enjoyed were study hall with Ms. Lockwood. <laughs> That was a great comparison. <laughs> <laughs> and science with Miss Backus. Um, 
Zach has participated in both work study and dual enrollment the past two years. Zach loves all things technology. He enjoys playing video games, learning about coding and building computers. At the senior banquet, Zach had a computer he built as the centerpiece of his table. Nothing could have represented him as well. Zach plans to put in the hard work it takes to get a computer science bachelor's degree. He will continue at Trenum State Community College and then finish at AUM or possibly out of state. I will have to say this is not written in, but everyone knows in school that if there was a computer problem in the administrative office, we paid Zach. And people maybe thought Zach was in trouble all those times, but he was not. He was fixing our computer and Miss Farquhar's printer. So. <laughs> in Hebrew, Zachary means God has remembered. Zach has shown personal and spiritual strength and fortitude the past few years. Fortitude is courage in pain or adversity. Zach's mother was diagnosed with cancer early in his high school career. His mother's battle was his battle. If a son could ever will his mother well, this is what happened. God heard Zach's prayers and remembered him. Miss Harris is a cancer survivor and here tonight. The The faculty and staff at Churchill Academy wish you success as you pursue your dreams, Zach. Yeah. It is an honor to present William Caleb Gillen. As a graduating senior from Churchill Academy, Will became a Churchill student in the fifth grade. His teachers were Ms. Gungles and Ms. Hathcock. The first student he met was Bo Terry, also a member of the 2021 graduating class. Will was previously a Delreda Elementary student. Will is a young man who loves God, his family, and his friends. Will is wearing the brown honor cord tonight. Brown represents security and protection. The wearer is earthy, enjoys the outside, and loves nature. Personality traits are warmth, durable, and musical. This was an obvious chord for Will. He often talks about all of his outdoor activities. Turn the page the wrong way. Second mistake in 46 years. No. <laughs> okay. Will would like for the faculty and staff to know that there is nothing about Churchill he would change. A special memory for Will was the career day when his grandfather came to school to talk about his time in the military. He was a World War II veteran and a living history class. Will participated in talent shows, assisted the student council with a daily snack card, and was a member of the first track team. Will is so very thankful for the loving support his mother has given him. A conversation between Will and his mom led to each senior recognizing their parents and others. These special awards were given at the senior banquet. Will would like to follow his, in his father's footsteps to be an environmental biologist. Will plans to attend college and then, as he says, work on the water. Will enjoys fishing and wants to fish in every ocean and on every continent. In addition to fishing, he enjoys hunting and all outdoor activities. This spring, Will has worked at a garden shop. This is a perfect job for this nature lover. Will, the faculty and staff at Churchill Academy wish you the best. Godspeed. Our next graduate is Ms. Jade Hayes. Jade came to Churchill Academy in the sixth grade from Garrett Elementary. She entered classroom E with Mrs. Sykes. Many of Jade's friends are classmates from that year. Jade is wearing the silver cord. The color silver symbolized graciousness, a gentle, friendly personality with strong values. Jade has always liked her teachers, but the one teacher that stands out the most to her is Mrs. Kiernan. Jade said Mrs. Kiernan is an amazing teacher, always willing to help, and is very kind and caring. Jade is a dedicated student. Her willingness to go the extra mile in learning was one of the many reasons 
Jade won the Winston Churchill Award while in high school. Jade could have her picture by his motto, never, never, never give up. Jade enjoyed her time at Churchill Academy, but her favorite class was dance with Mrs. Hall. She did a great job learning the steps to several dances and enjoyed the field trips the dance class would take to the different area nursing homes. Jade's love for the elderly, children, and babies is what makes her a great volunteer. Her helping the younger children during the fall festival is one of her best memories. She helped my grandson, it was awesome. Jade has always enjoyed volunteering and hopes to be able to continue doing this at assisted living homes in the future, especially the gardens at Waterford. It is not just people she likes to volunteer with. She also plans to help at the Humane Society. She loves animals, especially her dogs, Rusty and Buddy. She has even painted a portrait of one of her dogs that she shared with her fellow seniors at the senior banquet. And guys, if you didn't see it, it was so impressive. It truly was. She also loves Tyson, Churchill's therapy dog. When she was asked if she could change one thing at Churchill, she said she would want the school to have two therapy dogs. <laughs> her dream of being a dog trainer fits her perfectly. Jade, you have had a wonderful high school career here at Churchill Academy. We will miss you greatly, but we know you have a bright future ahead. Thank you. Our next graduate is Miss Cassie Leanne McVeigh. Cassie arrived at Churchill in the fall of 2014 at the beginning of her sixth grade year. She came to us from Wilson Elementary. Cassie is most often quiet and reserved, but once you get her going on a topic of interest, it is difficult to make her stop. Cassie's wearing the dark blue honor cord, which stands for dependability, integrity, and peacefulness. It represents the depth of her character and her stability. The dark blue cord indicates she's an enthusiastic and loyal friend. Cassie enjoys learning. By far, her most fun class was anatomy and physiology with Ms. Backus. Cassie says her hunger to learn more, learn more always has kept her intrigued. As her most outstanding teacher, she selected Mr. Zener because he is one of the teachers that I couldn't allow myself to slack off on the work since he expects the most from us. His classes are usually the most challenging to pass with an A, and I honestly find them pretty hilarious. Cassie was involved in many activities while at Churchill. Here are some of them. Her time on the student council, both as secretary and as ambassador. She was a go-to dancer for Ms. Hall's trips to the nursing homes and as a performer demonstrator at talent shows and Churchill gatherings. She loved going on field trips since, as she put it, it was refreshing to, put out, to be outside the school building every once in a while. She is proud of her mom, who is a respiratory therapist and survived COVID-19. But Cassie does not envision a career in healthcare. Cassie is planning on attending Trenum State Community College. She is keeping an open mind on what she will do in the future and has no definite major in mind at this point. She will probably sample a variety of classes in search of her special career field. Whatever Cassie decides to do, we at Churchill know that she will put the same kind of dedication and diligence into her work there as she did here. Congratulations, Cassie, on your graduation from high school. We at Churchill wish you all the best. The faculty and staff at Churchill Academy would like to present Carter James Radulowski. Carter started Churchill in Classroom D when he was 12 years old. Carter is wearing the yellow cord, which represents being creative, artistic, bright, someone who makes plans and sets goals, and someone who focuses on things that interest him. Carter showed his creative and artistic talent when he thought of video games and would play them in his mind. 
He would daydream and write comics about different scenes and action sequences he enjoyed. Carter would spend snack break and lunch time drawing and sharing his work with faculty and friends. We expect to see his work published in the future. Carter has enjoyed Ms. Backus and Mrs. Kiernan's classes. They both saw Carter as a serious student who wanted to do his best in their classes. Some of Carter's fondest memories include going to the prom with Katie Payne and attending school dances, going with Ms. Hall's dance class on trips to area nursing homes to entertain the residents was great fun. Carter was one of Mrs. Hall's go-to dancers. His most memorable field trip was the DeSoto Caverns field trip. He remembers how much the high school students liked the light snow that was on the ground there. That was cool. That's right. Oh, the light show. I said light snow, didn't I? It was cold that day, though. Remember that? And I'm wearing the glasses. What's wrong with me? Some of his biggest accomplishments outside of school include getting his driver's permit, working on his driver's license, and learning to change oil in the car, which everybody needs to know how to do. Getting on the roof with his dad and working on it and taking care of his grandmother after her accident during the summer. When asked where he saw himself in 10 years, he replied that he would love to do animation, and this is my favorite. His dream, though, is to be a teacher at Churchill Academy. Yeah. Although Carter is unsure about his future, those who know him foresee his future being shaped by his creativity. His sweet countenance and entertaining artwork will definitely be missed by many. The faculty and staff at Churchill Academy wish him all the best. Bo Braxton Terry. Bo joined the Churchill Academy student body when he was in the fifth grade in classroom D. Ms. McLean was his teacher. Bo had previously attended Head Elementary until it closed and Flowers through fourth grade. Bo is wearing the purple honor cord. This is representative of dignity and sophistication, inspires inspires awareness of surroundings and sensitivity to others. He cares deeply about other people. His leadership qualities include wisdom, creativity, and ambition. Bo is, dys is dyslexic. He created the Redeeming Red Movement and the World Dyslexia Day. In October, when every year in October, when towers, buildings, state capitals, bridges, and more light up in red, think of Bo. Think of Bo as he spoke to the legislature. Think of Bo as he spoke to the State Board of Education advocating for dyslexic services for young people. I Bo participated in the JET program working with Montgomery Community Action. He also worked with residents at John Knox Senior Living Facility as the stretch and bend and breathe lead instructor. Bo has volunteered at his church working with the children's ministry. He spends his summers working with Hope Hills family camps and with Joni and Friends family camps, both focusing on disability ministry and inspiring hope for families who live with disability. Bo was selected by the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services as Student of the Year last year. Ms. Kiernan and Ms. Lockwood attended the ceremony. They were so very proud of Bo as he graciously accepted this honor. He was a worthy recipient and represented Churchill Academy well. Bo has been active in his student life as well at Churchill. He has served on the student council as the school photographer. He participated in both the dual enrollment program with Trenum Community College and work study. Bo says in lower school, Ms. Sykes taught him in a way that he could learn. He calls her a brilliant math teacher. He enjoyed Ms. Backus as a teacher because she was an out-of-the-box thinker like he is. Ms. Kiernan was always caring and understood him understood the stress he felt as a student with dyslexia. He credits Ms. Lockwood with working to make sure he got the accommodations he needed. His teachers agree, Bo gives his very best. 
We have stated Bo is dyslexic, but that is not what defines him. He is a creator and maker of jewelry. He is a great cook, a loyal friend, and takes care of his mother and his brother Drake. He dreams of having an Etsy, Etsy shop. He plans to take some time to explore what options God has for him. Bo, we wish you well. I would like to present Alexia Vania Thomas. And I practiced. We did. We did. As a member of the 2021 Churchill Academy graduating class, Alexia came to Churchill Academy from Dozier Elementary in 2016, and Miss Gullins was her homeroom teacher. Alexa is wearing the pink honor cord. Pink represents femininity and tranquility and compassion and kindness. The wearer's genteel presence is reflected by elegance, grace, and politeness. Alexa was Miss Lockwood's student aide when she was a sophomore. She was timely, never complained about the endless copying, and always had a smile on her face and a positive attitude. In fact, Alexa's partner doing that job is here tonight. I think Joe Lee was back here someplace. Joe Lee, a graduate from last year. Um, Alexa worked at YMCA before COVID-19 closed the facility. She was one of the child care employees. Alexa loved working with children and is considering getting an early childhood certificate. Alexa said Miss Sykes stood out as an outstanding teacher because she cared about her students and she helped them. Miss Sykes was always there for Alexa when she needed her. Alexa enjoys her classes and likes her teachers. She said her most fun classes have been with Coach McCluskey. Coach McCluskey says Alexa has a beautiful reading voice and her handwriting is excellent. Her favorite teacher is Miss Kiernan, or Miss Kay, as she is called by the students. Miss Kiernan has taught Alexia several high school classes and compliments her on the effort she puts into her schoolwork. Alexa's hobbies outside of school keep her busy. She loves to dance and play sports. In fact, this summer, she's gonna be on a softball team. Modeling and clothes shopping are at the top of her list of fun things to do. She enjoys friends, and she and the, Cle and she and the Keelan have been friends for many years. Whether Alexa is remembering fall festivals, field trips, or Co Coach McCluskey teasing her about her fear of spiders, or roaches, it is. Roaches. Okay. She only has wonderful memories of her years at Churchill. We will remember her sense of humor, laughter, and how she enjoyed her classes and teachers. It is difficult to say goodbye to our students, but we have to say goodbye to you, Alexa. We wish you the very best as you pursue your dreams. Sean came to Churchill Academy in 2011 from Redland Elementary School. His teacher that year was Miss Sykes. She is the teacher that stands out the most to Alex because of her kindness and she taught him how to read. Alex is wearing the orange honor cord. This cord stands for excitement, warmth, and energy. It is the color of flames and the sun. The person that receives the orange cord has inspiring and determination qualities. Even though Alex had a great high school career, it wasn't without some challenges along the way. During his freshman year of high school, Alex was diagnosed with throat with thyroid cancer. He had surgery to remove his thyroid and is now cancer free. It was a scary time for both Alex and his parents, but with the help of great doctors and lots of love and support from his parents, family, and friends, he has a bright future ahead of him. Alex's teachers appreciate his hard work and his dedication to his studies. Alex has grown leaps and bounds during the high school years. His favorite classes at Churchill were Dance with Miss Hall, and any class with Coach McCluskey. <laughs> Just <laughs> anyone. 
Miss Kiernan's geography class made him realize there was one place that he would really like to visit, and that's Yellowstone National Park. Alex reached the pinnacle of scouting when he earned his Eagle Scout as a Brotherhood member of the Order of the Arrow. Alex is also wearing the Eagle Scout Honor Cord tonight. He has earned 61 merit badges and has attended a national and a world Boy Scout jamboree. Alex service. <laughs> Alex's service project is the Gaga Pit. He and his parents built at Churchill Academy. His peers have really enjoyed the Gaga Pit, particularly the middle school children. They have really enjoyed that. Alex has been accepted to the Crossing Points program at the University of Alabama. At the end of May, he will attend the Summer Bridge program that is facilitated by Crossing Points. He will begin college at the University of Alabama in the fall. Alex is the recipient of the Outlook Pioneer Scholarship. Alex, we will miss your smile, good nature, and playful personality. The faculty and staff are extremely proud of your many accomplishments, and we wish you much success. What a wonderful class. Can we give them one more round of applause? Next, we'll hear from Churchill Academy's 2021 valedictorian. Caleb Wilkinson, if you'll come up, please. Good evening, Churchill faculty and staff, parents, other friends and family members, and most of all, fellow classmates. Before I begin, I've got a question for you. What are we here for? I mean, why are you here? This is a very common question with as numerous and sundry answers as there are seconds in life. Over the past four years, I've begun to formulate my answer to the question. My conclusion? To serve. Now let me back up a little bit. When I first started high school, I was a mess. <laughs> up until this point in my life, I had lived second to second, hardly thinking, mostly doing. Much of this can be attributed to having ADHD, but the more likely culprit, I believe, was I was living only to please myself. Rarely did I consider that other people have wants and needs too. Then, around the end of ninth grade and the beginning of 10th, a change took place. The walls of my little self-centered world started to fade, and wouldn't you know it, I began to think. <laughs> Meaningful thoughts and questions began to occupy my mind. Nevertheless, I was still a teenager and spent the next three years goofing around, making mistakes, and every once in a while learning from them. I hope I'll never forget these lessons, nor the people who helped me learn them whether by correcting me directly or through my observation of their correction. JT, you were the first person to extend a, friend, a hand of friendship to me when nobody else did. Proverbs 17, 27, and 28 states, The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint. Whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. JT, both you and Will display shining examples of this truth. Will, we both learned this lesson the hard way, and I'm glad that we did, though. Your resoluteness rivaled by humility makes you an amazing friend. Cassie, your curiosity is something to be admired, and I'm so grateful that you were always there to back up my questions when <clears throat> no one else had a clue what I was talking about. <laughs> Gardner, your creativity is a gift, and I hope that you'll put it to good use. Andre, if only you knew how important your presence has been to me the past few years. You've faced and are still facing a lot of the same difficulties that I've had, and I can't wait to see you overcome them. Jade, I really do admire your honesty and diligent perseverance. 
Rarely did I ever hear a genuine complaint from you. And who could forget your outrageous laugh? <laughs> Harvey, you've got one of the broadest and most genuine smiles I've ever seen. And I know that your patient, thoughtful demeanor will be a great blessing to you in the future. Alex, I'm not sure that I've ever seen anyone so consistently high-spirited as you are. Who else has the energy to pace laps around the whole school every day and still keep, have enough energy to keep a positive mental attitude? Trust me when I tell you that your positive influence, it's been a positive influence on those around you. Zach, it's been really cool to see you, the change that has begun in your life. I don't know all the details of your trials, but I know enough to testify that you are learning in much the same manner and yet in a thousand ways different from me. Katie, I know that I'm not the only one who's been uplifted by your kindness and enthusiasm day in and day out. You have an attitude of devotion and service that few people have today. Alexia, I'm so glad to hear of your outreach and genuine love for the kids at YMCA. I hope you'll continue to pursue that in the future. Jack, I want you to know that you're one of the most humble high school students I know. You've made it a point, it would seem, to make the most of every opportunity to make others laugh. Like the grass block is the Minecraft, I think you've earned the horse head as your trademark. <laughs> Bo, you face a number of real struggles in the time that I've known you. And I've seen your patient tested, patients tested unfairly many times, but don't lose hope. Fix your mind on James 1, 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work in you so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Your unrivaled motivation is a great gift. Don't let it go to waste. Sarah, even though I missed three years of seeing you, I can honestly proclaim that you're one of the most authentic and carefree people that I know. You've been through a great deal, but you've kept your spirits high, sharing this mentality through your good-natured sense of humor. I've learned a lot in the past four years, this past school year especially. God has been working in my life in so many ways. I've been privileged to attest to poetic truths which many people overlook and which I was taught not by books or instructors, but by the spirit of truth. Have you ever taken a moment to think about the beauty of a faithful ocean wave running, rising, crashing against the shore, settling, receding, repeating? Or the stillness of a tree as it waits patiently day after day, growing little by little with every rising and setting on the sun? Or how the mountains, they rise and bow over many millennia to the one who created them? We rush around day to day, for the most part oblivious to these things, yet still fretting over the latest fashion trend, what we'll have for lunch, or how many likes our latest post has. Can't you look around and see that there's something greater than you? It doesn't take much. Look at the person sitting next to you. Don't we long each day for something more? We want fulfillment, we want a purpose, we want to be happy, we want to be loved. The answer is staring you in the face. If you want it spelled out, there's a book in front of you that'll do just that. Jesus told us in Matthew 23, 11, the greatest among you will be your servant. And again, in Luke 9, 24, if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. Those words may seem hard to believe, but I can attest that they are true. Living to serve only yourself is a lonely, dead-end road. Where do you go when you come to the end of yourself? But you can find peace and fellowship in serving others out of love. No one's going to force you to. It's, the choice is yours. However, I can tell you from what, I, from what little experience I've had that it's more fulfilling than any alternative. So, what will you do? Will, Cassie, Carter, O, Alexia, Katie, Jack, Zach, Jade, Harvey, I think I already said Harvey, JT, Sarah, and Alex. I leave you with this charge. Live to serve and trust God's plan.
candidate, I don't know that I've ever seen a valedictorian speech get a standing ovation. That was amazing. <laughs> Got to teach him. That's the fun part. <laughs> I am so pleased to be able to announce the names of the graduating class of Churchill Academy of 2021. Our first graduate, Caleb Riley Wilkinson. And graduates, if you haven't realized or not, our precious Coach McCluskey is here. So if y'all will come around and he wants to be able to congratulate you as well. John Thomas Applin. No, I'm sorry. I swear in the wrong place. Sarah Elaine Gill Backus. Harvey Keontae Bannerman. That's right, the one we've all been bragging about. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <he's wild>. <laughs> <laughs> do it for me. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> 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 Hey, Katie, can you stay in one more time? There you go. Yeah. Jack Martin Congratulations, Jack. I love it. <laughs> Zachary Darnell Faulkner. Caleb Gilliland. Jade Mackenzie Hayes. Okay. 
Cassie Leanne McVeigh. Carter James Radulowski. <laughs> Bo Braxton Terry. Ready? Alexia Vanaya Thomas. And last, but certainly not least, James Alexander Young. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, graduates, we have something very special for you. Dun, 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 dun. All those wonderful pictures that we ask you to gather for us, we have put them in the slideshow. So y'all please enjoy this reminiscing of your seniors of 2021. It's my honor, I present to you Churchill Academy's 2021 graduating class.
thank you for attending tonight's graduation. Senior parents, please make sure your senior gets their gift under the pew down front, the first two. So I don't want them to forget because I won't know who didn't get theirs. So thank you for coming and everyone will exit and enjoy your family time. Thank you.